Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Kingdom New Lands. This is a brand new expansion coming out for the game Kingdom, which was one of my favorite indie games of 2015. And it is beautiful. If you guys never saw the series, it's basically like a 2D light city management game where you play a king or a queen set off to rebuild her queendom or kingdom. Is queendom a word? I, I don't think so, but there you go. Kingdom, beautiful looking game. I love the pixel art style. And there's a whole new array of things in the game. I got to check out a little bit of it back in uh, San Francisco. I went there in March for a Total War event and I was able to stop by and check out the expansion as well as some of the other games Rafi was working on. So this is new. We have a little ghostly king guiding our queen. We are a purple queen. So here we have our beginning of our little village. We have to go down over here and ignite our fire and they're going to start building. So we go over here and we can uh, toss some coins over to these guys and they're going to become our legions. Our, our sworn men okay we're gonna go over here buy a bow and that guy now has a bow so he's gonna go hunt and hunting produces coins so everything in this game is based around the coins up in the top right you can see our little coin purse it doesn't tell you exactly how many you have in there so it's a little tricky this guy currently doesn't have everything so we're gonna spend three coins over here and he's gonna snag a hammer now we can start building cool so there's actually a tutorial in the game now because previously there was no tutorial you kind of just figured out things as you went and i think that was about it yeah build expand defense so maybe that's it with the tutorial because i kind of like this game it didn't hold your hand it it allowed you to figure out things for yourself which i really appreciated so let's go see what this guy's got we are going to build another wall here oh we don't have enough coins but we go over to this guy and he's going to toss all of his coins out at us he's like hey hey go buddy oh wait is that a wall or is that a turret i just built oh i think i just built a turret not a wall oops so we need more coins. Let's see. Uh, we have one there. Okay, so he'll build, he will build that. So this guy's going to head over and he will start to work on that. Ooh, and over here we have a trader. So at some point if we pay this guy, he'll go into town and leave us a whole uh, bunch of stuff. Like he'll either leave uh, tools or weapons, things like that. And over here we have the little villages on the outskirts. So we can go recruit these guys. Ooh, I have a coin. Okay, I didn't think I did. Uh, don't have any for that guy. This is new. What is this? Maybe it's just a different type of village? But yeah, as soon as we get into the woods, it gets pretty dang dark and scary. This is an upgrade system, so you pay uh, this and it'll allow you to upgrade your uh, your buildings from wood to stone, things like that. Ooh, found a little chest. Let's open that up. Hold. Oh man, okay, we got a whole bunch of coins out of that. Very cool. So the game has a night and day system. And you kind of want to be back in your city at night, because that's when the monsters descend. Oh, they're already here. They're already here. Are you kidding me? Oh, they're coming. They're coming after me. Okay, I was I didn't think it was nighttime yet They came out pretty early. Maybe they changed the system because I thought we could get over there. No problem, but we gotta run You guys better run uh, If they get hit by those monsters, they will not be happy well, Let's just head all the way back. We can't sprint anymore. The horse is tired So you either have to just walk let them breathe or you can stop and eat some of the grass and that'll kind of uh, re Restart his stamina yeah, I'm really not sure what this is. This is brand new. This wasn't in the game previously, so... Looking forward to finding out what's going on there. We got another little villager here. We'll go ahead and uh, toss him a coin. He's closer to our main city, so he can quickly get over there. I love the look of this game. Oh, it's so nice. So you can see I could chop down the tree if I wanted, build another camp there, build a nice little wall. Uh, there are rabbits, but it looks like our hunters don't actually hunt them. Ooh, okay, he's been doing work. Okay, <laughs> Let's get some more bows up. Oh, and the villagers run. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yep, here comes the enemies. This guy's gonna start shooting at him. Be better hit him, buddy. Please shoot him. Please shoot him. There we go. Okay, he actually hit him. Good job. Let's get another bow going over here. And how are we doing over here? Looks like these guys are doing all right. We will get one more builder going. So we got two guys over here. I'm gonna go ahead and build up that turret. Or that tower just so they can actually shoot over the walls. How much coin? We got one coin left. That's not great. I do see a lot of rabbits though, so hopefully our hunters will go out in the morning and start to hunt. There we go. Day two. And like I said, woo! Got it. I do like that they will hunt while you're gone. That's pretty cool. So you can come back and they'll have a whole bunch of coins for it. We start off hunting eventually. You can build things. You can actually build farms and start the farm and make some more money that way. Uh, we went this way. Maybe we'll go to the left. See if we can find anything over there. Uh, we just recruited that guy, so he's probably gonna become a hunter or a builder or something like that. Oop, nope, give me that coin. Give it back. Come on. Thank you. Ooh, a whole bunch of coins. Sweet. Maybe we should upgrade a campfire? Let's see. Hey, that's only three. We'll go ahead and do that. Oh, and I forgot, every morning you do get, I believe, their taxes. So you do get, get a little chest of money. You couldn't really see it. It was stuck behind the donkey guy. But there we go. That's our sigil. 
We are the blue snakes. Blue snakes rule. I guess. <laughs> okay. So the way the night and day system works, basically every night you get attacked. Every fifth night you're going to get a blood moon. And blood moons are really strong attacks. They send a lot of creatures after you. Eventually you get giant creatures. You get flying creatures. It's pretty terrifying. It's... It's pretty fun though, so we'll see how that goes. Ooh, let's see if I can chase this deer. So you can kind of push them. I'm gonna chase this guy back to the city and try and get my archer to shoot him. There you go. Oh, it only gives. Okay, it gave us three coins, so it's still a decent amount more than just a rabbit. Just look at that reflection. God, I love how the look of this game. I've missed it. It's a ton of fun. Ooh. Okay, well this is new. This is a ship, huh? It takes ten coins. Don't really think we need to do it now, but that's good to know. Because the game is called New Lands. If you look in the trailer and stuff, you do ride a boat and go around and get different mounts and stuff. There are diff there's a ton of different mounts. Like you can you can ride a bear at some point, and that just sounds awesome. I want to ride a bear. Ooh, a whole bunch of coins. Thank you. Got to remember to spend money though, because if you get too much, it will fall out of your purse and kind of plop into the river. Don't know what that is. I'll spend the two coins. We'll figure that out. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like we added a sign to that. More coins. Woo! Woo! There aren't any villages on the left here. Hmm, because I wanted to go recruit some more people, but okay, here we go. They're pretty far. Here you go, guys. Uh, you might want to hurry, though, because it is pretty late. That's something you want to do. If you're going to go recruit, make sure you do it early in the day, because otherwise they're going to run all the way home, or back to your kingdom. Ah, that's the name of the game. But they're going to get killed by the monsters before they get there. They don't really get killed, they just, um... I don't think they ate killed. I'm pretty sure they just default to neutral villagers and they head back to their little village. So it's important to make sure they have enough time to get back. Like, it's already night time, so those guys are kind of screwed. In fact, we might be too if we can't get out here. Luckily, there are ways to defend yourself against the little, the little goblin dudes. And previously, they wouldn't attack the deer unless they were, like, inside the city or during the day. I can't quite remember the mechanic, but let's see if we can get them to kill this deer. Looks like we're not getting attacked on the left side because the moon is going down. Oh, cool, they are shooting them. Nope. Ow. Okay, I was going to try and get them turned around. Well, let's go ahead and eat all this stuff. And head back in here. So, left side is good. Let's see, how do they fare here? It looks like they did get attacked. Looks like the fence is a little bit messed up. But we'll go ahead and upgrade that. Let our builders get to work. And let's go grab some extra villagers right off the bat. Hey, these guys. <laughs> they redid their art style. They're all kind of ragged and med beggy. So I feel kind of bad, like I, I toss them a coin and they come live with me, but then they kind of give me their undying loyalty, so... You know, it's it's a win-win. Oh, we're gonna upgrade this wall as well. Do we have any builders? We have a space there for a builder. We have one hammer right now. What does this guy want? Give him a coin. Oh no, not that guy. What does he want? Oh, he's just gonna go... Okay, so that's the trader. So previously, he would just wander into town and you would give him some coins and he would come over here and give you some stuff. But right now, I think you actually give him one coin, and he leaves, goes and does some trading, and comes back with whatever he gets. Okay. That's just that's that's just what I'm assuming. Again, still learning all these new mechanics. Thank you for the coins. Oh, we have too many coins. Ooh. Um, should I build right here? Because we could expand. Let's go ahead and get our rudimentary wall set up there. Let's see if we can find some more villagers. And we do have an excess of coins, so I'm going to go ahead and spend these. And that's going to upgrade this, and it's going to allow us to build the stone. Yep, so there you go. Nice little upgrade system there. Come on, I think there's another village right here. Hey, ooh, there's a whole bunch of dudes there. Okay, guys. There you go, welcome aboard. I'm sure you'll love working here. If you have any problems, bring it up to HR. And they'll let me know. Okay, yep, the goblins are coming from that direction. Well, I don't think they're coming right now, but this is new, actually, because there used to be just a little portal. Let's actually eat some grass real quick. Let our horsey rest for a second. Look, I just love how cinematic this is. It's so pretty looking. Oh, yeah, there's the big portal. Okay. Because it used to be you would be able to, like, run past it. And then, like, keep going. Because the end of the game, the, the end goal is you build an army and you go and attack the portals and destroy them. So that's the end goal of the game. I'm sure they've expanded quite a bit more since then. You know, just to protect these guys in case some goblins do show up, we're going to drop some coins. It's because the, the goblins love coins. They stop, they pick them up, and they run back to their home. Presumably, I mean, it could have changed. All these things are subject to change in the new update. 
I'm just glad they added more because originally I thought they said they weren't planning on adding more to this game, but I'm really glad they did. Um, yeah, let's upgrade that. Yeah, that was just my thinking sound. I was thinking. Okay, so this guy came back now, and is he gonna give me something? Do we go over to him and pay him? No. Maybe he, maybe he does it in the morning or something. Oh, we got a whole bunch of guys coming, so let's get some bows ready for him. Three more bows. Maybe a hammer. Yeah, just one hammer is good for now. And maybe another bow. Because we, we do have a bunch of guys coming from the right. There we go. Okay, so we got our chest. So it looks like... Huh, they changed that system. Because it's not the chest giving me the money in the morning. It's the donkey man. Okay. But we got one more day. Uh, this is the fourth day, so... Tom oh, we got two more days. Because tomorrow night will be the blood moon. And that's gonna be uh, the tricky one. So let's build that up. Can we upgrade these walls anymore? We can. Or do we want to? How many coins? We don't have too many coins right now. Let's see if our hunter's got anything. Ooh, got another beggar. Okay, one coin there. Thank you. And, hmm. Well, let's see if those coins are still over the right. The ones I dropped, just in case they were being attacked. You know, I never checked the left side to see if they're being attacked there. So it's entirely likely that they actually did get attacked, but oh well. They're fine, we didn't get overrun. And that's the most horrifying thing in this game, when you actually, your village gets overrun. Just because you can't actually defend or anything. You can just run, you can drop coins to distract the enemies, but... No real defensive system, so once your walls are breached, it's kind of tough to recover. Hopefully, that won't happen. Because last time we played this game, it took us, I think, like, 19 episodes to actually beat the game. It took quite a while. Okay, no coins over here, just the portal. Well, hopefully these guys fared a little better. Oh, we actually have some villagers that don't have jobs, so... Just to get ready for the fight, we'll go ahead and uh, arm up a couple of them. Only have one coin left, sorry. So that guy over there, it's like, hey, I need something to do. Sorry, but I don't have anything to do. You guys have any luck hunting? No? Come on. Anybody, give me some coins. I need coins. Oh, there's a couple. I'll grab those, grab both of that other guy, and hunker down for the night. Well, is anybody gonna attack or anything? No? What is that guy doing? Okay, you run, buddy. <laughs> okay, here they come. So got a couple of them. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, one more down. There you go. Let's go check on the left side. See if things going over there. <laughs> that little builder was out there. Just hanging out. Oh, crap. Run, buddy. Run, worst. Okay. Uh, that should be it for the night attack. We have the blood moon coming up. Not too worried about that. It'll be fine, right? Let's go try and find some more villages. We have two more coins. Okay, this guy. You there. There you go. I still don't know what that different looking village on the right side is. Maybe we'll find out soon. There we go. Day five. Ooh, and it's raining. So we got some more coins. Let's go ahead and get another archer going. Oh, wait. That guy needed one. Okay. So we have one more villager coming in to join our ranks. It is tricky because you can't actually control the villagers in any aspect. They just kind of go where they feel like they need to go, so... It's a little tricky doing that, especially if you are getting attacked on one side, you can't really divert troops from one side to the other. It's all automatic. Now, I could upgrade that wall. Let's actually take this guy. We'll grab him. Because, yeah. It's six to upgrade those to stone, so it would cost quite a bit. We got some villagers coming in, so we'll at least have another archer. And we only have the one wall over here. So I'm a little worried about the first blood moon, but we'll see how... How oh, much they scaled the difficulty, if at all. Maybe they nerfed it, because it was too difficult. I mean, the first couple times I experienced it in-game uh, last fall, it was pretty crazy. But we'll see. We, we can handle it. We are Kingdom Pros. We beat the game in 19 episodes, which is, you know... It wasn't that great. I think it was like three runs in total. Because I think we beat the game around day 33, 34, something like that. And we will give this guy a coin real quick. He'll head out. Give me that coin back, thank you. Oh, man. Okay, so eventually, I think if we upgrade the center one more time, we should get a scythe stand over here. And if you m build scythes for people to use, they'll go and make farms. And farms create a lot more cash than hunters. A butt ton more. Okay, spooky music starting up. Anyone in the village we can go rescue? Let's go uh, check out over here. No, I don't want to go too far. Guys, please, please go back. Oh, wait, there's a guy there. Guys, where are you going? Why are they outside the wall? <laughs> Maybe it's technically not nighttime. They should turn around and go back inside at some point. Okay, yeah, they're all booking it. You guys better get back in here. The monsters will descend soon. You can kind of see the red in the background. I think it's because it's a rainy night. 
Uh, more often you actually see the blood moon. It's very red and scary and ominous. Spooky. And other synonyms for scary, I guess. I don't know. I'm not an author. All's quiet on the right side. Let's go check the left side real quick. Anything going on over here? No. Okay. The moon's almost high up in the sky. Maybe they changed it. Maybe we won't get a really strong attack today. Where is everybody? This is ridiculous. Maybe we don't get it on the first blood moon. Maybe it's more like a warning moon. I don't know. I don't see anything yet because the monsters do disappear when it becomes daytime. Huh. Maybe they got distracted attacking some of the uh, outer villages. Not sure. Yeah, so once this guy gets back, then I believe it's actually daytime. Ooh! Nope, he just gives me right there. Day five. Okay, well, I guess I was worried for nothing. We didn't actually get a blood moon attack. But we'll pick it up from here in the next episode, guys. Make sure you leave a like if you are excited for the return of Kingdom on the channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.